Hi, I'm Alona. And I'm Shay. And welcome to Baking with Mo and Shay. Today on Baking with Mo and Shay, we are going to be making Oreo marshmallow bars, which are so yummy. The ingredients for these marshmallow bars are one pack of Oreos, five cups of marshmallows, and one fourth cup of butter. I have vegan butter with me and vegan marshmallows, and actually Oreos are vegan too, so I am making a fully vegan version of these bars. So the materials you're gonna need for these yummy Oreo marshmallow bars are a blender to crush up your Oreos or a plastic bag, you will work. You're also gonna want a big pot to stir everything in as you're melting the marshmallows and butter. It wouldn't spin to stir that all. And you're gonna need a pan of any sort. Your measuring cup, so one cup and a fourth cup. Oh, and also you need parchment paper so it doesn't stick. Okay, should we get started then? Yeah! Oh my god, you said it's French! It has French on it! Counting! First step, grease your baking pan with butter or line it with parchment paper or foil. Yes! So you're gonna use parchment paper and I'm gonna use butter, correct? Yep! After you grease or line your baking pan, you can just set that to the side because you're not going to use it until a little bit later. And now we can get started on crushing your Oreos. Yay! The fun part. So I'm just going to basically blend a full packet of Oreos in my blender and I hope it will work. I think it will work. A few moments later. I did this, I actually used a hammer, not a spoon. It did create a hole in the bag though, and then some of the Oreos spilled out. So, I do not recommend using a hammer to crush your Oreos. Okay, so, I just ripped the bag, so now I'm gonna put that one in another plastic bag. Oh my god, taking an Oreo break. Next, you wanna put five cups of marshmallows in. Another two cups, five cups. I just put a fourth cup of butter in my marshmallows. I definitely need two bags. <laughs> it smells like this. Oh shoot, I think I'm burning some them. Just, just, just mix them. Oh, the butter burnt. No. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat so it doesn't burn, and then I'm gonna pour my marshmallows. I mean, my Oreos. This does not look right. Okay, I'm putting it in my pan now. How, how are you like five steps ahead of me? Okay, pour my first bag of Oreos in. It still smells like it's burning. Like this doesn't smell good. Shay is kind of struggling. Do you see, guys, Mo is like actually a baker. Like, she bakes for fun. And then, like, I burn marshmallows. So, this is what makes this series entertaining. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay. I'm a professional baker, guys. <laughs> I placed the hot pan on, on the plastic bag and it just all. That's it, I'm out of here. Baking with Mo and Shay <laughs> slash Shay running around frantically. Um, uh, There's like, like melted plastic on the bottom of the... So, look. Do you see that? I think I don't have a good Oreo to marshmallow ratio because this is like majority marshmallow. How do I make something so easy look so hard? <laughs> Like, this shouldn't be this hard to do, but, I mean, alright. Do you know what this looks Yours like? Looks this like looks like, like the Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yours looks like a brownie. Okay, let's try. Ready? What? I mean, it's 
not bad. I think I just it's burnt not... mine a little bit too much, but it's actually pretty good. It tastes so good. Okay, out of 10 stars, what do we give it? They're really good, they're just really sweet, so I give mine like a 6 or a 7. On easiness scale to make, oh, I feel yeah. like 9. Sweetness scale is like 15. And overall scale, we're gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10. That's the stamp of Shay and Mo approval. <laughs> Approved. Thank you for watching our first episode of Mo and Shay, and don't forget to tune in next time and comment down below what you want to see us do next.